Most of us millennials remember watching BET's 106 and Park Top 10 Live hosted by Free and AJ after a long day at school. It was the network's highest rated show because it gave us a variety of black culture, music videos, performances, and interviews with the hottest black celebrities. But after five years, our favorite host just up and left abruptly. This is why Free Marie and AJ Calloway walked away from 106 and Park. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to 106 and Park. Welcome back, 106 and Park, BT Top 10 Live. What's up, y'all? I'm Free. And I'm AJ. 106 and Park. It's a complete blessing. It dropped out of the sky, landed on my head. Give it up for January, y'all. It's great. It's absolutely great. I mean, I get to, it's, it's, it's surreal. BET's 106 and Park Top 10 Live debuted in September 2000, and people called it the Black TRL. It was an R&B and hip hop music countdown show that aired on weekdays for an hour to 90 minutes at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The name came from its original studio, located at East 106th Street and Park Avenue. But after Viacom's acquisition of BET in 2001, the show relocated to the CBS Broadcast Center in the Hell's Kitchen section of Midtown Manhattan. The show's main demographic was black teens and young adults, and white celebs like Justin Timberlake, Gwen Stefani, and Tom Cruise would visit the show when they wanted to market to the urban audience. Fans got to see performances and intimate interviews with their favorite artists. And in some cases, they got to ask questions and interact with them. The original hosts were Free and AJ. Free Marie Wright started out as an intern at BET when she was just 16 years old and went on to become a backup dancer. She was also a skilled rapper. Free attended the audition for the show in 2000, and the executive vice president of BET, Stephen Hill, recognized her from the internship position she took when she was 16. That's when Stephen decided that Free was the perfect fit for the show. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to 106 and Park, BET's Top 10 Live. Who is Free? She is a young lady from uh, Roxbury, Massachusetts, who has always been into music and arts and performing and just tries to live each day and do the best that she can. That's all. I chose the name Free um, because it just epitomizes what I believe a lot of people want to be. You want to be able to do what you want to do, say what you want to say without the repercussions. And I chose one day to live my life that way, just to be free and let my creative out, say what I want to say, and that's just who I am now. I'm free. Well, when I was about four, my mother and father put me in dancing school because they were tired of me dancing on the coffee table all the time singing. So they put me in a dancing school, and I went to a dancing school called the Roxbury Center of Performing Arts, and that, I believe, is what really molded me, taught me how to work with other kids, and introduced me to the stage and, you know, performing and things like that. AJ Calloway was helping with the auditions and selection process when executives realized he'd also be a good fit and they liked the way he and Free interacted with each other. AJ was a party promoter from Jersey and attended Howard University. After graduating, he moved to New York where he began his career as a journalist. It's about to get crazy funny out here. It's time to bring oh out our God. first guest of the day. Who is AJ? AJ is a calm, collective, believe it or not, introvert, that uh, was just trying to live life one day at a time. I'm happy to be here. I'm originally from Jersey. I'm a Jersey boy, born, bred, raised, New Jersey. I think my father instilled it into me that I never really wanted to work for anybody. So my aspirations to do whatever the hell I had to do to make money without having to work for anybody. So I would, I would do anything and everything to make money, anything legal. Let me underline that. You, you name it, I did it. Their chemistry was amazing, and they knew how to engage with not just the celebrity guests, but the studio audience as well. During their time at 106 and Park, they interviewed notable people such as Michael Jackson, Denzel Washington, Aaliyah, Holly Berry, Maxwell, Whitney Houston, Janet Jackson, 
Luther Vandross, and NSYNC, while rising stars like Alicia Keys and Kanye West made appearances before their careers took off. 106 was beating MTV's TRL in ratings with 760,000 daily viewers, compared to TRL's 600,000 daily viewers. Free and AJ would also host BET specials like Spring Bling, as well as presenting at the BET Awards, now being known as the main faces of BET. From New York City, it's BET's very own AJ and Free. What's up, Atlanta? How y'all doing? What's up, ATL? I'm Free, y'all. And I'm AJ from 106 and Park, BET's Top 10 Live. How y'all doing out there? In 2005, there were rumors about Free behaving like a diva, showing up late just minutes before they went live, or the show would start late because she wasn't ready. She and Stephen Hill were also rumored to not be getting along after she blew off promotional visits at radio stations because she felt that the one bodyguard they provide for her wasn't enough. The tension between the two allegedly blew up during the BET Awards on June 28, 2005, when they allegedly got into a shouting match backstage, which led to AJ presenting the Viewer's Choice Award alone. In July, Free was noticeably absent from 106 and Park episodes, but no explanation was given. Then on July 28th, during a live tape-in, AJ announced that it would be his last show and gave a tearful goodbye. Gotta thank y'all for watching. Gotta thank y'all audience for watching this for five years. Can y'all say, we love you free? We love you free! Last time, y'all. Love, live life, man. Free was at home watching the show at the time, and she called his cell phone. AJ answered it live on television. Um, it's all good. Just She's telling me to stop crying. <laughs> and Free's gone as well. And uh, we love you very much. And uh, you'll be hearing from us. Me and Free are going to go on a farewell tour. We saying bye. She said she loves you very much. She loved y'all very, very much. The network execs expressed their disappointment and said that their announcement was surprising since BET was negotiating new contracts with them. In a statement, Stephen Hill said they were definitely not let go. But contrary to that, AJ said in a press conference following his exit that Steven told him BT's new head of programming, Reginald Hudlin, was looking to change the face of the network. He was given a three-month extension, leaving him no choice but to leave the show. The year prior, AJ had left the network for nearly three months after working for a year and a half without an established contract. In his exit interview, he said, after five years of growing the show to what it is today, it was basically a no-brainer situation. If you're trying to aggressively keep someone, you don't offer them a month-to-month -month contract. It came to a point where there was an unsatisfactory offer, and it was time to move on and do other things. AJ ended it by talking about his plan to open a vegetarian restaurant in Brooklyn, and said that he loved and respect BET for the opportunity they gave him. Free, on the other hand, declined to comment, but according to anonymous BET staffers, both hosts were very vocal about wanting their salaries increased since they became the face of the BET channel as a whole. The abrupt resignation of AJ and Free from BET's top-rated show came as a shock to their fans and prompted an outcry. The network started receiving an overwhelming amount of phone calls and letters, followed by a petition calling for their return. By late 2005, audience correspondent Jalisa Bermudez and Big Tigger from Rap City had taken over as the temporary host until new ones were hired. While BET viewers were already familiar with Jalisa and Tigger, they still refused to support 106 and Park moving forward. Producers had a hard time filling the studio audience to capacity and keeping their ratings up. Big Tigger said, In the beginning, the studio audience attendance was shaky. You start to wonder, Damn, are the kids not there because Free and AJ are gone? Or am I not doing my job? For two people so beloved in our community to leave that situation and for us to step in, well, you have to humble yourself, end quote. In 2006, while speaking on the Black Student Today panel at South Carolina State University, AJ blasted 106 and Park for what he called destructive messages of many of the show's most popular music videos. He said, 
I couldn't watch my own show with my knees on my lap. Pick your five favorite songs. Write down every word that's in your favorite songs. Read it back to yourself and think about what that has put into your head. Understand internally what you're taking into your soul and your system. Really look at it. You might say it doesn't do anything, but I'm telling you, it does, end quote. AJ went on to say he would never do anything against his race and said the messages in some hip hop music serve as a distraction to the challenges facing blacks. He said, I felt like I was hurting us by doing what I was doing. We're so lost in the music. We don't understand the reality of what's happening day to day in our lives. All those institutions that are out to bring down blacks don't have to work anymore because we're doing it to ourselves. They're laughing at us, end quote. The former hosts finally opened up about their decision to leave 106 and Park in the October 2006 issue of Vibe Magazine. Free said, I left because it was time for Free to go. It was five years of a great show. Business is business. If you work for a business and they have a plan to keep their business surviving, they're going to do what they have to do. I've never had an issue with BET and my check. Never. I had great mentors there. But I wasn't afraid to do something else. AJ said, I had to realize BET didn't feel the same way about me that I felt about them. As far as being a family, looking back, it was all business. I considered them family and they considered me as just business. I worked there for two years without an annual contract. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm out of here until you all step to me like I'm a man. But there were many different factors as far as me leaving the show. If I wanted to get dirty with it, it would have been ugly, but I don't air my dirty laundry. Some people think I hate BET. I talked to Steven not that long ago. I stopped by BET, we're cordial. When asked about the alleged incident at the BET Awards with Stephen Hill, Free didn't speak on him or the situation, but she said, No awards show stopped because of me. I won't speak on what really happened, but it was nothing like that. At the end of the day, the show must go on. I have nothing but respect for BET founder Bob Johnson and Deborah Lee. They completely supported us. How can you have anything negative to say about a company that was black owned? I'm from one of the most racist cities, and I ended up on BET. I was not mad at that. AJ also responded to the comments he made about the destructive content on BET. He said, People were like, AJ doesn't like hip hop. You must be out of your damn mind. I'm a diehard hip hop fan. I come from hip hop culture. But for kids who have no other role models, they always look to celebrities. They get it a little twisted. There were people who said I was being hypocritical. But what people have to know is that I was a different person then. I wasn't honestly being the man that I know I'm supposed to be. When you remove yourself from a situation, you get the chance to sit back and observe it. It hit home why I left the show when I got to travel and talk to the kids more. Free chimed in and said, AJ's always been about the kids. And AJ continued, I speak to kids all over the country. This is not something we do to make headlines. We represent our race, our people, Anything we do reflects on us. And on the topic about his last show, he said, that Thursday show was my last day. It was a tough situation. I went through a lot of stuff people don't know about. I'd stay for the kids. I looked at it like this. You don't see a black man on TV every day in a positive light. I was upset I no longer had the voice. Free said, how he left and how he came across was from the heart. He wasn't crying because he lost a TV show. I called his cell phone. I told him, AJ, tell everyone we love them. It's going to be all good. It's just a passing of the guard. Still, it was a very ill way for the show to end. But the former host ended the interview by talking about their favorite moments on 106 and Park. AJ said, just as being a family, I can be in the weirdest places and I'll have someone come up to me like, yo, we miss y'all. And it's not just brothers and sisters, it's white folks. I was in Minneapolis last week and this white woman comes up to me like, I just had to come up and tell you, I miss you on the show. You don't understand how much you affected my life. There was nothing like 106. And Free said, everything has its era. Just like In Living Color was the shit, Martin was the shit. What we had was the shit. I love our fans, our crew, and our audience. And I'll always love 106 and Park. What were your favorite 106 and Park moments with Free and AJ? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below 
and like this video and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content.